Hey up lads, Kosh here from Kosh Bushcraft. Today's video, why I think you should be carrying one of these instead of an axe. If you're out chopping wood, firewood, whatever you're doing, bushcraft style, making shelters, you, you aren't going to get an axe as reliable as this and you aren't going to get one that cuts like this. This is a competition style, uh, American chopper competitions. I saw them, inspired this, saw how quick them boys were flying through wood and some of them boys can fly through it, <laughs> wouldn't believe. Um, basically, this is too big. I, I designed this to be, to cut even better than a competition chopper. It's uh, three inch wide, competition choppers are only like a bit two inch wide. It's three inches longer and it's uh, five mil, half a centimetre thick steel. A lot of choppers use like a, a centimetre thick, but then the blade ergonomics aren't as tight for it. They run the grind all the way up for it. But uh, a thinner piece of steel will cut deeper if it's got the weight, hence the sticking an extra inch on it and three inch that way, which makes it a beast. Uh, compared to an axe, I mean, you just aren't going to chop nowhere near anything like you're going to do with this. Uh, I've done a video of me chopping some uh, stuff outside. So I did my axe on blade, I should have probably done a video before I started chopping stuff but um, yeah it's uh, made from 80 CRV2 which is a high carbon steel walnut handle looks kind of sweet really I'll let the chopping do the talking and uh, we'll see what you think
So now you've seen it chop, <clears throat> let's uh, talk about uh, not just the chopping power, let's talk about the construction of it. How many times have you had an axe head work loose on you? Do you know what I mean? Flooring wood could snap, it could work loose and you're having to retighten it. You don't get any of that with something like this. It's a uh, full tank construction. Half a centimetre thick steel. You are breaking it. It's tempered, but if you temper it properly, which I have, you are breaking that. Not an open L. It's about the same size as an hatchet, axe, tomahawk. It's a bit smaller than that tomahawk. Not, not much in size difference so it packs flat in your bag it's not going to let you down and as you saw from the video it's sharp as hell uh just thought i'd come in here today uh usually in the workshop but today we've hit a thousand subscribers so i thought i'd give you something to look at while i waffle on <laughs> um i'm supposed to be looking at this look at this one Oh, don't look at that one. Look at this one. Uh, yeah, basically, a uh, thousand subscribers today. Chuffed as hell. Uh, thank you to everybody that's uh, subscribed to me. It means so much to a little channel like me. And it's uh, nice that I know that people are actually looking at my work because that's all I made the channel for, just so people could see the things I make. And... Uh, that's it really, just uh, hope you enjoyed the video of me chopping a few things, uh, you're not making one of these, if you're going to make one as a novice, I'd go for some 1075 steel, 1095 maybe at a push, I wouldn't go for CRV2, 80 CRV2, it's a bit of a posh steel, you have to hold temperature a little bit longer, uh, could give you problems. But other than that, I'd uh, get yourself one of these as well. <laughs> Thank you very much. And it's Camper Kosh signing out. And please, please, please don't forget to subscribe. See ya.